Hi friends, I'm Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see a AWS S3 connector with Mule USB. So what is S3? What is AWS S3? AWS S3 is nothing. It's a storage which can store okay millions of trillions of object. It can be media file. It can be image file. It can be text file. It can be anything. It can store okay millions or trillions of the object. It's, it is a basically a big data storage type of big data storage it can store it's a massive storage and it provides the 99.99 percent .99 durability okay so i will going to show you first let me log into aws system okay what i will do first i will go to any point studio i will say file new new project okay i will say s3 AWS connector. This is my application name. I will keep runtime as a 3.8. You can select depending on your requirement. The rest of the setting I am not going to touch. I will say finish. Okay. The first thing I will drag and drop HTTP listener. Fine. I am going to configure the HTTP listener. I will say connector configuration. Click on this add button. Keep all setting as a default. Say OK. New path. I will say S3. First, I will say Post. Next thing, I will look for S3 connector. This is my Amazon S3 connector. Okay. So first, we have to do the connector configuration. So it requires access key and secret key. How can you get it? So go log into your Amazon Web Service AWS. Go to your this my uh, my security credentials. Okay, uh, just I will just close this. Go to this access key. I have already created one. Like I can delete again, and I will create new one. Okay, I have deleted. Now what I can do? Create a new access key and download this key file. Okay, save as a in desktop. I will say root key one dot csv. I will save it to some desktop. Save. Close this. Okay, this is how you can generate your access key. Now go to S3 under the Amazon cloud. Uh, so okay, and we will going to create a bucket under bucket. We will going to store the object. I have already one there. Okay, I will remove. Uh, let me do one thing. Uh, okay, let me go back. Okay, so click here. I will de uh, delete previous one. Okay, so. I will say delete bucket. I have to provide the name. I will delete old bucket. Okay. Now everything is empty. Now there is a no bucket here. So this is my Amazon S3 storage. There is a no bucket. So we are going to see a lot of things uh, using uh, like using Amazon S3 con connector. So let me first uh, open the file which I have downloaded. This is the key file. Let me open into the notepad. So from there I can get my credential. Okay, this is my credential. This is access key. So let me copy this access key. Okay. So I will go to connector configuration again. I have to provide the access key. Now second they want secret key. You can see the AWS secret key. Copy this. Now do test connection. Okay, the test connection was successful. Now say okay. Now you can see a lot of operations like you know bucket, uh, lot of operations, create bucket, create object, create parts, all those. First thing we want to create a bucket. So basically in S3 storage we want to create a bucket. Under the bucket we can store the objects. So let me create a bucket. So for you have to provide the bucket name. So I will pass a bucket name. Just a minute. Let me minimize it. Okay, so I will say S yes, JSON bucket name. Fine. So now, what is what should be your policy? I will say not private. I will keep it default. Public read. There are a lot of policies. You can select one of them, and you can select the region. I will keep it maybe Singapore. Okay. This is my message. Now, I will 
say set payload fine under set payload i can say bucket created fine let me save i will start the application okay let's application is deploying let me change the method here it should be post i have a body so this is my bucket name i am passing the json message let me give some good bucket name okay your bucket name should be from 3 to 63 characters and it should be in a small letter mul demo bucket one okay so i am giving this my bucket name let me check if my application my has been deployed now i will say send let's wait while it creating a bucket okay the bucket has been created let me check s3 storage let me refresh this page is there any bucket created or not let me check fine so we have given the new demo bucket so this bucket has been created now let me check if, is there any object inside that no is a no either you can upload the object from here and we will going to see like how can we upload the object using aws s3 connected with mule usb now what i will do i will say uh, go to amazon s3 go to amazon s3 uh, here instead of bucket i will say create objects now we want to create object so what should be key first i will say a json test message what should be your file name it okay this is the key and what should be your bucket name so let me pass my bucket name this time so i have already this bucket created in the amazon s3 storage so i will pass it directly this is my bucket name okay now i'll pass some good message let me copy some message mm wait let me find out some i'll copy this instead of bucket name i paste this message right so let me do one thing let me save the application okay application has been saved let's check okay the application has been deployed let me save it so it will deploy the recent changes okay instead in set payload i will say change the message object created fine let me save again so it will deploy the application for you okay the application has been deployed let me send the message so it has said object created let me check go to s3 storage and let me verify if anything is created under mule demo bucket when or not let me refresh this page okay no no issue let okay let's wait okay see this is your uh, message that we have passed okay and see i will going to explain what is the key json test message we have given the key as a json test message so this is the name of your file actually so let me open this let me click on this uh, link this will open the message see this is the message we have passed to the s3 storage fine so now we will going to see some more operations now let's i will remove the http listener fine let me remove this http just a minute let me remove this http listener instead of that i will use file connector and i want to pass some image file you i want to show you so let me create one folder into source test resources i will say new folder okay new folder i will say in finish here i will configure it source test resources slash in this is my input folder fine so now i am going to paste some image inside this let me remove this set payload here okay let me change the key uh i will change the key this time i will read the file name message dot inbound properties dot original file name okay let me save our application let's check okay 
what i will do let me show you some images so i have some images uh, under this we have this type of some images okay let me open with some a different viewer let's wait it getting hanged not a issue let me open let's wait this is some of the images i have okay so i'll copy some more images let me copy this also okay i'll copy uh, just a minute let me go back i will paste it here okay not a issue let me copy these three images okay i'll paste i'll paste it in folder let me paste it to in folder so let me check console so this three file has been moved let me move some more files go to image on i have some more files can i can show you what is those those file Okay. Okay. Let uh, let we will test with three only first. Let me re uh, rename this file because we have say send same key. Key should be unique. Let me rename one of the file. Mm. Just a minute. Okay. I will say screenshot four. I will just pass this uh, as some file. Let me rename all the file. because uh, i have already passed same name with uh, previous files they are they have a same name i will say 6 okay so this is nothing these are some images okay i can show you let me copy this paste it me to the in folder okay so let me go to uh, S3 storage. Where is my S3 storage? Okay, by default. Okay, let me go back. Okay, let me go to model. Okay, see, this is all image I have passed. Okay, you can see those images. Okay, into the S3 bucket. Let me open one of the images. This is the link. Okay, this is the images we have sent. Right. So, how? easy it is to pass the object to the s3 storage even you can pass the videos media whatever object you want to store you can it is massive storage okay let me show you some more uh, store uh, screenshots which i have sent see this is one we have sent okay now what i will do i will instead of file i will again place a http connector fine i will Next three, say post. I will say get. Okay. Now let me save it. Let me save it. Go to S3 storage. If you want to check more, in which region your your S3 storage is available. So there is some method available. Let me go to those method. Hmm. List bucket. Bucket policy. Get get object location. Get bucket location. Okay. Just you have to pass your bucket name. It will get you the location for your bucket. Let me do one thing. Save all. It will deploy the application for you. So now instead of get uh, post, I will use the get method. Let me send it. So it will give you the location where your where is your bucket available. See, it was saying your bucket is available in AP Southeast. Fine. now we will see some more thing more more operations i will say instead of get bucket location if you want to delete any object so there is a method called delete object you have to pass a key so we will keep it uh, configurable i will say json object or i will say key name right now instead of HTTP. I will change the method to post. Now let me drag and drop set payload. So it will display the message. I will say object deleted. Okay. So 
So let me check a console. Let me stop and run the application again. Till that I will make a uh, message. So let me go to body. Let me remove everything. Let me create a new JSON message. I will say key name. So let me copy one of the key from S3 storage. It is good to copy from there. So this is my screenshot one. No, let me go back. I will go to bucket. Under bucket we have a lot of. So let me first copy JSON test message. Let me copy this key. Okay. I will pass this key from here. Fine. This is my JSON message. Let me check applications deployed. Yes. Let me send it. If everything is fine, it will say object deleted. We can verify here. Fine. Let me go uh, go back to S3 storage. Let me go back to bucket. See. Let me refresh it. It should delete it. See, your key has been that, uh, that one of the file has been uh, deleted. Let me do one more delete deletion. So this is my file name. Let's wait. Uh, this is my file name. In short one one minute go back yeah screenshot one dot png fine so I will say screen short one dot png fine I will say send object deleted let me check if screenshot one png has been deleted it's fine okay okay let's wait I'm refreshing the page okay let me cancel it let me see it's screenshot one PN that has been deleted this is how you can delete the object from your bucket now we will going to see how to delete a bucket go to http fine go to amazon s3 and say delete bucket so here it was hard coded instead of hard coding what i will do i will keep it as a json just minute Okay, so here I will say hash JSON bucket name. Save it. Fine. So you can delete your bucket. So here your post is there. So I will change the message instead of object deleted. I will say bucket deleted. So once you delete the bucket, whatever object inside those bucket will get deleted. Okay, let me stop application and enable it. Let me change the JSON message instead of key name. Now I should give a bucket name. One minute. Let me close this. Fine. Okay, the application is deployed. Let me pass a message. Let's wait. Fail to invoke delete mode. My bucket. Let me check what is the issue. Okay, it will not able to delete because bucket is not empty. I'm sorry. I have okay. Let me remove all this first. Delete all of it. Okay, the bucket will not get deleted till the object is available inside the bucket. I okay. So now you will be able to delete the bucket also. Let me send the message again. Okay, your bucket has been deleted. Fine. So let me go back to Amazon S3. See, there is a no bucket now. Okay, so we have seen lot of operation. And even there are more operation available. So you can expose all those operation yourself. Okay, I have gone through various operation. You can set the policy. You can create bucket. You can list the object. Like what are the object available in your bucket? You can list the version. You can upload the part. Lot of things you can do with this S3 connector. Okay, thanks for watching video. If you like my video, just subscribe to it.